Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you who are joining us via the internet, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Stephanie Gruning and Janet Pahuyo. Oh Lord, hear my voice, for I have called you be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me. For I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted? Because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge. I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you, and in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. But the truth of Christ is in me. This boast of mine shall not be silenced in all the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. The response will be Alleluia. Alleluia. I will give you thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company of the assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Alleluia. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Alleluia. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Alleluia. For the blessing time. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard 
because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Friends, in the first reading we hear St. Paul is trying to share the good news, but also to caution his followers that there are some people have been preaching, calling themselves the good news, but the truth is in me. So you can imagine even the time of St. Paul, there were other people who were coming and say, we are here to proclaim the good news, but they were there for their own gain. What is going on even in today's lives? I always, wherever I go in Tanzania, I see so many people, they are wandering. They said they are searching the truth of Christ. They go from one church to another. And wherever they go there, they think maybe they have reached to the truth. And then after some, some few months, they say, mm, no, we were deceived. They move to another. What are they looking for? Jesus is telling us, I am the way, I am the life, and the truth. The truth will get when we put our trust in Jesus. Imagine someone is standing in the pulpit saying that uh, you have a lot of money. Just come to Jesus. And then at the end, he's asking you, can you bring all your stuffs here? And then you will be blessed. What happened in Kenya? The guy, he said, just come and then start fasting, and then uh, during that fast, you will go to heaven. 100, more than 100 people died simply because they trusted from their pastor. They thought maybe that is the only way to go to Jesus, but unfortunately, they lost their lives. Where can we find Jesus? That's the question. Where can I find Jesus? And Jesus is telling us that I've come so that you may have life, life abundantly. But Jesus is telling us that life is not just every day, it's all straight. No, there is an ups and down. There is sacrifice, there is persecution, this perseverance and endurance, there is everything but trusting me and focusing me and putting your life in me. I will rescue you. I will give you life. That also needs a, 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 a good understanding to come closer to Jesus because it's easy to be trapped in today's lives. Because we are struggling with one side to another side and everyone is bringing the messages and because we hear different messages and we are confused and we don't know which is which. Where to go? So I'm challenging you. Where can I find Jesus? Think about it. It's not an easy answer. And Jesus in the gospel today is teaching us how to pray. Eh? But every time when we pray our Father, do we recognize what does it mean? It's a prayer of thanksgiving. It's a prayer which always brings us to put our trust in God. 
that we surrender everything in the hands of God. That is the prayer of forgiveness. It's a prayer of acceptance to who we are and let God take charge in our lives. And it's a prayer which can bring us to understand we are all sons and daughters of God. Be ready to forgive one another and be ready to reconcile to one another. And that is the key of this prayer. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, you have showed us the way how we can continue to look and search for the truth. Give us courage always to listen from the inner heart and allow the Holy Spirit transform our lives. And for this we pray. For the prayer of the Our Father given to us by Jesus to be a source of guidance and strength, we pray to the Lord. For our hearts to desire to know God better and seek him in all things, we pray to the Lord. For our youth seminarians and volunteers to finish the diocesan work camp, knowing they have saved God by saving others, we pray to the Lord. For all those suffering the loss of a loved one to find comfort in the gift of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. For military personnel, first responders, and health care providers to be covered by God's protection as they save others, we pray to the Lord. For all those traveling, traveling this summer to enjoy their time away and return home safely, we pray to the Lord. Lord we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we proclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit 
upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, and all take you all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks so that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Stephanie Gomez, Janet Pafuyo, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in their hope for the resurrection and all have died in all mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not in temptation, but in the way. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, for peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faith in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation.
the prayer of our Father is a prayer of unity, is a prayer of thanksgiving, but also is the prayer which reminds us that God will continue to be our guide and our source of life, no matter what. As human beings, sometimes we forgot to understand that uh, God is everything. God is our life. You can say, oh yes, I have power, I have everything. No, in the presence of God, you are still a loving person, a person who can understand that is God is everything. Let us walk together and uh, wherever we pray this prayer, we can understand the position where God is always in our lives. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks. Thanks.